So if you guys aren't ready to see some uh, vulgar stuff, go ahead and get off of the page. You know, go watch a different video. This dude that I sparred is very racist towards Mexican people and I punished him. And we're gonna get to the sparring. We're gonna get to the sparring, but it's crazy that this dude is talking trash to me now when he was face to face with me for two days, bro, and never said one of these things. You know I had to step up for the Mexican people, bro. Show some love, had to show some love to Kobe, you know, protect his name, but this is what this man said and I punished him for it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what this dude said, man, uh, the racist. And uh, then you guys are going to see what I did to him. You're the one who disrespected Kobe and Gigi. All I said was Kobe and Gigi, rest in peace. Gigi died with Kobe's in her mouth. Gigi died with Kobe's in her mouth. I'm glad I'm not I wouldn't want to be Peace Greasy trash Mexican scumbag Mexico. I'm happy because another like you, Mexicans for life, is scared to show his face. You, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go shoot a Mexican little girl in the head, but that, that, that's what I'm gonna do, bro. I'm gonna go kill a right now. Watch this. All right, so y'all seen those clips, man? And you know, RIP, uh, my dogs are right here. Sorry, but uh, let me show y'all them real quick. We got baby girl, and we got piggy man. Sorry, I had to take a little light break after hearing all that, bro. I'm the one that had to edit it, but yeah. So now we're just gonna get on to the clip where I punish dude. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video, man. We gotta get this video out to as many people as we can and expose this dude for who he really is. Uh, but yeah, let's get on to the sparring. Richmond Cali, baby. You're doing great, bro. <laughs> Oh, 
30 seconds, 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Do not blow up. You try to pull down on me. I dare you. I dare you. And for some of y'all, y'all seen that footage. So basically, bro, before I had met dude, I did not know any of this stuff about him, man. He, when we got there, he wanted to go really light. That was his thing. And he was, he was almost scared to go hard with everybody. There was one person there that wasn't advanced and that's the only dude that he would go hard on. I really wish I would have known all this stuff and he would have said those racist things to my face because I would have punished him, you know, even more than I already did. I mean, y'all seen going light, bro, he couldn't even touch me and I was dodging everything he had. So Southpaw, I sent you the address. Uh, y'all can see right here, you know, I, I spammed him the address to come pull up. Stop while you talk trash, bro. You gotta pull up. As simple as that. I'll pay for your flight, your gas. Everybody that's watching, go message him. Let him know to pull up whenever. And if he, if he wants it with Scarface, Iraqi assassin, all that. Cause I know you and Iraqi got beef, bro. You know you was you was talking uh, talking some stuff about Islam for no reason, bro. We all know you're scared. We all know you're gonna duck, and we all know you're never gonna show up. You fear Mexicans, bro. You fear them. That's why you asked me to go light. And then that newbie that was there, you wanted to go hard on him and talk trash to him. But you didn't talk none of that to me or the crew, bro. So whenever you want South Paul, gym's open. We can get it in. Street beef, pull up. You're gonna talk all that, come back it up, bro. Like I said, I'll pay for your flight. Y'all let him know. And yeah, that's it for the video, bro. I'll catch y'all on the next one.